Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today and boy am I looking a little rough, huh? Beard's getting all big and crazy. Hair is getting all long on the sides. I really need a haircut and I need to get my uh, priorities in order. But uh, you know, this quarantine has been killing me. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess I'm not the only one though. You know, no one can really go get their hair cut unless they live with a barber. So, hey, it is what it is. But guys, listen, um, it's the end of April. Thank you guys so much for getting us over 550, almost to 600. Yo, that's like 120 some subs just in April we got and uh i just want to say thank you guys so much let's let's see if we can get to uh 650 by the end of uh may i hope we can get another 100 you know this month but hey it is what it is but look guys my dividends have came in this month and i'm ready to show you guys exactly what i got paid for the month of april um i'm gonna be straight up with you it wasn't as much as my last month but i do see a pattern coming i get real big then i drop down a little bit and then it drops down and then it comes back up you know what i mean but hey each month is getting more and more um when we first started this <sighs> september 2019 i got paid three dollars and one cent in dividends now how about that the most i got paid so far was 19 dollars and 40 cents and that was in march now this month i'm gonna be straight up with you i'm gonna give you all the numbers first and then we'll go through everything um i got paid 14 dollars and 71 cents let's take a look at this together i don't know if you guys can see very well three dollars and one cent five dollars and fifteen cents five dollars seven seven cents six dollars and fourteen cents twelve dollars and thirty three cents Seven dollars and seventy-five cents, nineteen dollars and four forty cents, and fourteen dollars and seventy-one cents. Now it doesn't seem like much, but that compounding effect—you can see the compounding effect coming. I'll never get another. I'll probably never get anything close to um, the three-dollar mark again because <laughs> everything I have, even my SPHD, is making me over three dollars right now. But uh, yeah, guys, let's get into the portfolio, and I have a free stock from. Uh, Jafari. So Jafari, let's go ahead and open this up and see. Sweet. All right, we got WPX. We'll probably sell it. It doesn't have a dividend yield. If it would have had a dividend yield, I would have just kept it just for, just for that. Um, but we'll probably end up selling this. So Jafari, thank you so much for, um, you know <laughs> what you've done for us giving us a free dividend and you got a free dividend so if you're watching this let me know what you got in the comments below and guys if you want a free stock just for signing up with robin hood click the link in the description where it says robin hood free stock you'll get a free stock just for signing up and be ahead of the game once you start you know your brokerage account with robin hood so guys on the day today we are up a uh, little over two percent close to a hundred bucks uh let's see we are up a little over two percent close to a hundred bucks so the portfolio is at four thousand three hundred sixty five dollars and eighty two cents over the week we're up seven point nine five percent which is three hundred twenty one dollars and sixty six cents and on the month we are up eight point zero two percent which is three hundred twenty four dollars and eight cents although we're still down on the three month mark by 13.11%, which is $658.94. And on the year, we're still down 8%, which is $413.23. Now, if we would not have taken that dip, we would be up around, let's see, the highest point this past year was like 500, I'm sorry, $5,121. So 7%, which isn't bad. You know, we'll, we'll get back there. As you can see, uh, everything's slowly climbing back. We're up in the green on Pfizer. We're up in the green on Aflac. Apple, which is a new position I just bought. Intel, which is a new position I just bought. Um, WPG, which is free stock from you guys. And WPX, which is free stock from you guys. Now let's see the percent change on the day real quick. So SPHD is up 2.5%. Coke is up 1%. MJ is up 1.8%. T uh, T Mobile. AT&T is up 3%. Pfizer's up 0.55%, which they kind of messed up on their earnings call yesterday. I think the revenue dropped 12% or something like that. Can't really remember right now. 
but uh, let me know in the comments below if you own Pfizer. Um, yesterday it was up quite a bit. I think I was up up to like twenty three dollars, twenty four dollars, or whatever. Um, but hey, it is what it is. I'm still up on it though. Um, PSEC we're up four percent on the day. Bank of America we're up five percent. Stag Industrial we're up one point seven percent. O Realty Income we up five point two eight percent. Verizon we up half a percent. AGNC. They got their earnings call. Obviously, they got something good going on there. Uh, 5.81%. I hadn't gone over it yet because I've been busy. Uh, after I shoot this video, I will check it out. Aflac, we're up 2.54%. MPW, we're up 5%. Apple, we're up 4.44%. I like those consecutive numbers like that. That's real nice. When Apple does their earnings call, I'm probably going to sink a couple hundred bucks into it if the stock shoots down. Um, than what I'm already at right now. I think right now my average price is 277, okay, $277.85. Um, man, I really wish I would've got in uh, a lot sooner whenever they they were a lot lower, a lot closer to, to, to the 200 mark. But hey, to each his own, I think if you get this below 300, it's a pretty good deal. So um, yeah, if it, if it tanks once earnings comes, um, I probably sink about two or three hundred bucks into it, but we'll see when that happens. IBK, IBKC, Iberia Bank, we're up 4.77%. Um, Starbucks, we're up 1.89% on the day. Intel, we're up 5.7%. WPG, we're up 16.69%. And Ford, we're, we're down 1.86%. And WPX were up 17.66%. I don't know if I told you guys, but I am thinking about selling Ford because I feel like the money I have invested in it would be doing more for my portfolio elsewhere. I don't think that they're going to go out of business. I don't think they're going to go bankrupt. Um, I know for a fact, well, I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty sure that by the end of the year, they'll be able to re reinstate their dividend. Um, but the way the company is going, um, I'd, I'd much rather, if I would, would much rather be in a, uh, if I want to keep my money in automotive, I'd much rather just put it in Tesla, to be honest with you. But uh, hey, we'll see. We'll see what happens when we cross that road. So anyway, guys, look, let's get into the, the dividends. Why you guys are here. You want to see the dividends I captured for April? Let's check it out. And we'll see the ones I have coming up for the turn of the month. First of all, you see SPHD here. We're not gonna count that because technically that was supposed to be for March. So we're just gonna cancel that one out. So March 2nd, for owning seven shares of Coca-Cola, I got paid $2.87, which is 41 cents a share. Also, April 2nd, did I say March for Coca-Cola? I meant April. Um, but for April 2nd, on uh, again, for Iberia Bank, I got paid ninety-four dollars for owning two cents, uh, two two shares, which is forty-seven, um, forty-seven cents a share. Sweet, we got we got paid twice, uh, <laughs> three times consecutively. That's pretty nice. So, um, MPW on April 9th, for owning six shares, I got paid one dollar and sixty-two cents, which is twenty-seven. Mr. Kitty. My cat is rubbing against that, <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, yeah, but <clears throat> April 9th, I got paid 27 cents a share at six shares, which is $1.62 a share. And it, everything is getting reinvested into, um, back into it. Next, we have AGNC on April 9th as well for only 13.209796 shares. I got paid $2.11 and it reinvested it and gave me 17 cents, uh, 0.17 a share. Um, so that's 16 cents per share. Now, so Stag Industrial, Stag Industrial on April 16th, I got paid 85 cents for owning 12, uh, seven shares, a little over seven shares at 12 cents a share and the dividend reinvestment, um, I got 0 0.032445 of a share. Next we have old Realty Income on April 16th, for only 1.225727 shares, I got paid 29 cents for roughly 23.3, 23.33 cents of a share, and uh, I barely got anything from it. But I'll have a little over three shares now, close to four. 
So we'll see how that turns out next month. And PSEC on <laughs> April 23rd, PSEC phoning 50.592825 shares at six cents a share. I got paid three dollars and four cents, which almost gave me a whole share. Um, it gave me at the reinvestment, it gave me 0.750617 of a share at four dollars and five cents. And now SPHD it still shows pending because it hasn't paid me for it yet. But for owning 19.59078 shares, I got paid two dollars and ninety-nine cents at fifteen sixty-two a share. Point fifteen sixty-two cents a share. And uh, it's gonna bring my reinvestment lower. Well, when it reinvests, it's gonna bring it lower and it's gonna add a little bit more, uh, you know, of a share to it. So overall for the month of April, I got paid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got paid eight dividends for the month of April. Uh, let's see, just the beginning of May, I'll be getting paid in the telecom industry, just the beginning. So on May 1st, I'll be getting, <laughs> I'll be getting for only seven shares, a little over seven shares of at and 52 cents a share. I'll be getting $3.62, which I'll be reinvesting back into it. Cannot wait to see how that's gonna work out. And Verizon, May 1st as well, I'll be getting paid $1.85 for owning three shares at 61 cents. Uh, 61.60, one and a half cents <laughs> i don't know why that was so hard for me to get out but yeah guys so um seven dividends this month man i'm really excited i'm actually probably within the next couple weeks maybe within the next few days i'm gonna i'm looking to add another um maybe two you no know, positions to the portfolio i definitely want to get it broader out you know i'm trying to get at least one to two um as far as a base level at least one to two um companies in each sector you know just to kind of cover my bases or whatever um yeah so anyway guys let's go ahead and get out of this here phone oh guys let me know in the comments below um what y'all dividend payout look like or you don't have to tell me the price but let me know how many companies you got paid from this month for this you know passive income we're all working toward i definitely plan on getting at least this portfolio above 10 grand by the end of the year i know i'm only putting 50 bucks right now but uh, once i allocate some funds or move some stuff elsewhere we will be adding you know a lot more into this account but i'll still be doing five dollars a day in the m1 and one dollar a day in the acorns and if you don't uh, if you haven't checked out my um m1 finance account i'll leave a link here or here whichever side it pops up on i don't know i always get it it mixed up i think it's on this side though so anyway guys look if you um if you enjoyed this video go ahead and smash that thumbs up button completely destroy it for the youtube algorithm because you guys have been killing it and uh thank y'all so much let me know also in the comments below aside from what you got paid this month you know how many companies paid you um let me know if well really what kind of um, content you guys want to see from me. It really helps out a lot if you guys would let me know, you know, what other types of content would you see from it? You want to see me start going over balance sheets, how I pick stocks. Do you want me to start, you know, comparing two stocks together in the same industry? Like, uh, I don't know, Verizon and, and, and AT&T or Pepsi and, and Coke. Let me know what's up because I, I have a couple ideas I'm working on, but uh, I'm sticking to the tried and true <laughs> right now. Anyway, guys, look, if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and consider clicking that red subscribe button, turning it gray, joining this little family we got going on. And if you wanna continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. Guys, look, y'all stay safe, have a great day.